I'd like to talk about welding in confined spaces. Now, a confined space is an area or a place that a human being normally would not find themselves. Many times construction welders go into confined spaces like pits or inside of pipes or boilers or pressure vessels to do weld repairs or even to manufacture these articles. Inside that confined space, if you're using TIG welding or MIG welding, part of the welding process is the use of inert gas. And inert gases are usually heavier than air. They can fall down away from the weld, down towards your feet, and pool there. And they will displace oxygen, meaning they will, as they build up inside a confined space, they'll shove the oxygen up and away from the ground or the bottom of the confined space. Uh, eventually, it can get high enough that the welder can find himself literally submerged in uh, these inert gases. They're colorless, they're tasteless, they do not support life, and if you start to breathe them in, of course, you'll pass out and die. So be very uh, aware of that when you're in a confined space. Uh, use adequate ventilation. A fan blowing fresh air in, um, a duct bringing in fresh air. Uh, definitely uh, stick welding in a confined space produces an awful lot of smoke. Um, it can hamper your visibility. The uh, smoke in large enough concentrations is toxic and can make you sick. So you need to supply yourself with fresh air with a fan or a duct or wear a self-contained breathing apparatus or a filter uh, uh, designed to uh, filter out all of those toxic gases. 